interaction. So I'm just going to go through the steps here. So you go into general linear model, you go into univariate, and um, you add your body size. So we've got the same plane ordinary ANOVA, cranial capacity dependent variable, fixed factor as independent variable. And now I'm putting my covariate body size into my covariate box. Now what I want to do though, I don't want to test my hypothesis first of do males have larger cranial capacities than females when you control for body size. I first need to test the homogeneity of regression assumption, which I kind of did in a roundabout way with those separate regressions. So I'll go into model, click custom, now I need to throw in uh, sex. Uh, for some reason that this, uh, this type thing I honestly don't think it actually makes a difference to do it, but I'll, I'll do it for the sake of this analysis. So I've got sex as a main effect for my in the model, and I'm also going to add body size. Now, I also want to add the interaction of sex and body size as a potential predictor of uh, cranial capacity. And I don't want it to predict in the sense that I don't want to reject my homogeneity of regression assumption. So... Uh, why is it? Oh, yes, okay. Interaction. So, body size factor by sex interaction. So, I've got my main effect of sex, main effect of body size, and I've got my interaction. I have to include these to S evaluate the interaction, the homogeneity of regression assumption, in a valid way. So, I'm going to click Continue, and I'm going to click OK. So, the only thing I want to look here, uh, I forgot to unsplit the file, sorry. So, let me. That's a good pickup that it told me that that was actually happening. That happens a lot. I have to be honest that I forget that I've done that. Uh, so we go into general linear model, univariates. Everything's set up the same way. And now my output is every, everyone's condensed into one output file. So what I want to look at right now, I'm only looking for the homogeneity, assumption, homogeneity of regression assumption. And I go to my test of between subjects effects, and I go into sex by body size factor. And it's got an F, it's a very puny F of 0.986, uh, significance of 0.323. So I failed to reject the null hypothesis that there was no sex by body size effect on cranial capacity, which stated alternatively means that the homogeneity of regression has assumption holds. I failed to reject it. So... Those two uh, uh, unstandardized regression coefficients that I thought were kind of different uh, were not statistically different. In fact, you'll find that it's actually quite tough to find. Uh, it's, it, you need very a lot of power to get a statistically significant effect between regression coefficients. It takes, um, takes a big effect to, to find it. Uh, okay, so now I've done that. Uh, now I can do the analysis of covariance proper. So I'm going to actually delete this output. Because I've tested the assumption. So now I want to go into general linear model, univariate, and I want to change my model. And I just want to go back to a full factorial model. I don't want to do the custom where I tested the interaction. And so by doing so, it's going to test my main interesting hypothesis, which is does that difference between male and females in cranial capacity still uh, manifest itself in the data once I control for body size? And I click OK. All right, so these are the means, the initial means. Um, so 1270 and 1473, that's, those are not adjusted means. Those are, that's the plain ordinary ANOVA-based means. I've got uh, Levine's test of equality variance, you know, nearly significantly different. So the male standard deviation of 161 is almost, statist more statistically, is almost statistically significantly bigger than female. And I have to say that because there's differences in sample size, and the smaller sample size is actually associated with the larger uh, variance, um, actually kind of counteracts uh, the negative effect of having differential sample sizes. Uh, but anyway, to have different sample sizes and almost statistically significantly different uh, homogene uh, homogeneity of variance, I'm not talking about homogeneity of regression here, I'm talking about homogeneity of variance, it complicates things, but I don't want to go into that in this video, I just want to point it out. I'm just going to say the variances are not statistically significantly different from each other, so the homo assumption of homogeneity of variance holds. Now I go to the main uh, element of the analysis, which is, does sex have a statistically significant uh, difference in the means, males, females, uh, once you control for body size? 
All right? And the answer is yes.